Hello and welcome back to Fantabulous Bags, where we do product development sketches and all sorts of different sketches for handbags uh, and design of handbags and accessories. Okay, so today we are going to work with our YU hand loomed bag. I have a photo of it here, which I just popped on there, and I have the original sketch, which I scanned in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab that sketch and I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, maybe I got a little too small. I'm going to put it up here. So, okay, so let's stretch it out so it fills the page. Some degree. There you go. Okay, there. So now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Object, Image, Trace, Make, and Expand. Ta-da! We'll see if I did this right. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this little edge here. Okay, so I actually have the photo here, so I'm going to try to do something. I don't usually do that, but I'm going to try to borrow the colors from it, being that, uh, let me see, I'm going to try to see if I can borrow colors from it. Okay, so the first, the first two lines, I tried to divide this up. So the first line here with this little scalloped edge is actually that tawny tan color. So I'm going to go with my little eyedropper tool and see what happens. Hmm, not bad. Maybe a little bit darker. Oh, no, that's too dark. There, I think it's a, maybe a little lighter. Oh. Something about this is that you can't really tell what the heck you're getting. Dark, dark. Pretty interesting. Okay, I think... There. Okay, I think that's working. Okay, so now we know what that is. Let's go ahead and grab all the other areas that is in that kind of tan, tawny color. So I'm just going to do shift, shift. I think there's this piece over here. Shift. Okay trying to figure this out. Ah, so the next one is there. Hmm, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's try that first. I'm just going to go with the same one I chose just because it's easier. I already picked this color. Okay, it's looking like it's working. All right, so hopefully I did a good job of what I'm supposed to be doing. Let me zoom in. So what I'm doing here is I'm picking the areas Let's go a little bit closer, not too much closer. And I'm looking at, oh, wait a minute. Actually, I can't go that close because I need to see what the pattern is on the original bag. Okay, so it's got like this, I'm not sure what they call it, kind of like a, let me shrink it down. Kind of like a snaky kind of Roman key idea here, going back and forth. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna grab here. Hopefully, I'm close enough that I can grab my. Uh, different areas of uh, color that I need to grab. That one's pink, so this should be tan, and this should be tan, and that should be tan, I think. And I think this is supposed to be tan too, and this, and this. We'll see. Uh, did I do this right? I don't know. Well, we'll find out in a minute, I think. Mm-hmm. All right. And I think this little corner is supposed to be tan, too. And I think this piece, too. All right, fine. So let's try again. Doing this kind of work is really a puzzle. Oh, okay, I think I got it. Sort of. Okay. All right, next. I'm going to work on this side now. So we're going to go, we're going to go back here. And again, shift, 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 I think. Yeah, I think so. Shift. Okay, so again, I'm going to grab our thing. Okay, all right, I think we're getting someplace. Yeah, there we have our key. Very good. So I did do that right. Yay! Me. All right, so the next one is we're going to actually do the um, this part here, but this part is in the pink. So let's first do the top part. We're going to work on this top area here. So the next thing here is this area, which is like this turquoise color, I think. Yes, let's try to grab it. Okay, 
So we might want to do the one underneath, but let's first do this turquoise color. Let's find a nice turquoise from here that we like. Um, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the pink. So let's go to the pink, grab pink. All the areas that we're pretty sure are going to be pink. Any areas that don't have color because they're behind something, you just do it in a gray. Even if it really is supposed to have a color, it's easier to just do it in gray. Okay, this mouse is not behaving properly. It's being naughty. All right, let me see. Does he want to let me grab stuff? Uh, okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay, let's just grab that pink, and then we'll see what I didn't grab. Okay, it's like a really neon -y pink. Oh, no, no, I want a lighter pink. Let me try from up here. Okay, that works. Okay, so you see I missed some spots, but that's okay. I'm going to zoom in on them. Um, yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so let's go again. All right. So now that we picked our pink, we can just pick it off the same sketch that we had. All right. There. We're going to have fun after applying some shadows to this to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Right now it's looking pretty flat, although some people like that look. It's not the thing for this kind of sketch. Well, I mean, you could do it like that if you really want to. All right, this thing is not doing it. Uh, sometimes you have to zoom in a lot because you get like a fussy computer thing. Okay, let's see. So let's go into 400. I'm gonna go and do this. Uh, and there. All right, now we got it. So now we have our Roman key kind of, whatever the heck that is. Now let's zoom out again. <laughs> so down to 200%. Okay, so let's look at our next one. Okay, so we have our tan. Next thing is we're doing like a brown kind of a, it's also a tawny color, but it's darker. So the next line here is going to be that tawny color. So let's identify it because we drew it in. Okay, so let's see. Here. This is the easiest spot here because the tassels aren't interfering. Okay, and there. I think that's it. I think. Actually, wait a minute. Mm. All right, we'll figure this out in a minute. This is kind of like a color, you know, by numbers thing. So let's grab this and see. Okay, I, I don't mind that. I think it looks okay. All right, very good. So let's go to the next one. I think this one's also supposed to be that color. And this one is too. All right. Uh, okay, got it. Let's see if I can grab that color. I can toggle back and forth between these. Okay, so the next one is a really dark brown. Oh, okay, I see. I, I was supposed to do these two. Oops, I missed some. All right, so it's about four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and the next one is brown. So let me go back and grab my eyedropper again. Okay, I think. Maybe I did something mistake, but we'll figure that out as we color by numbers. Okay, so the next one is a dark brown, but it's got like this kind of arrow kind of deal going on, which is fine and dandy except uh we don't know where it ends i think i'm not sure if it's this one or this one mm, i'm gonna go with this one okay i made a mistake all right let's re-grab those and keep our finger on the shift button okay next is we're going to grab this piece here i think i made a tiny mistake when i was doing the uh i think there okay very good so let's try to grab that very deep brown color. If not, we're just going to go with our palette. Uh, that's not terrible, actually. I think we'll stay that way. Okay. Now, the truth is, if you really wanted to, you could do, like, shaded stuff. But the truth is, is that a cotton thread is not going to have the type of shadowing that, like, a piece of metal or leather is going to have. So it doesn't really pay. All right. So I saw I missed some spots here, which I need to fill in with the 20 or brown one. Okay, there. Okay, the other part is this turquoise stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and grab again. ta -da. I think it's up till there. Yeah, that looks about right, I think. Okay, then the next one we get the tawn again and whatever. Okay, so here, let's go in here. Hopefully I got the right colors, I hope. 
Okay, so let's go again to our, our dropper tool and let's try it. Okay, all right, I missed the ones in between, which is fine, makes sense. Let me go in here. Let's zoom in again and we're going to go to command. Remember to use your toggle buttons and let's just go boom. Oh, wow, that actually looks kind of interesting, but not what we want. What, how'd that happen? Uh, me, crazy me. Okay, here, let's try it again. And let's go ahead and shift. You can actually sometimes, if you want to color the um, the actual border of your, you know, the outline of your sketch in gray, sometimes that adds to it. Maybe we'll try it with this one. Maybe we won't. We'll see. All right. So now I have to do this key idea, which we're not going to see the entirety of it because... I didn't draw it. I drew the bag as if it was expanded. This is a flat view of it. So you're not going to actually get the same idea back and forth. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab here. This one is the tan and this one is the tan. So let's go ahead and grab our tan again. Yay. All right. So now we have to do this key thing again. So now, um, hmm, how's that work again? Oh, pish tush, I don't remember. Uh, how did I do this one? Let me see. Okay, so we did the tan. Oh, okay, so this one is pretty easy. This one is going to have a pink, and this one's also going to be pink. So let's go ahead and grab that. There we go. So the next one is pretty much, oh, where did I do that? Uh, there. This is going to be pink too, I think. I'm trying to figure what the heck I was trying to draw here. It was last week, so I'm a little bit fuzzy. Uh, all right. I'm assuming I didn't make any mistakes. Imagine you making mistakes. Okay, let's see. This is pink, maybe? Let's see how that looks. All right. Um, okay, I guess that's what it was supposed to be, but the rest of it has to be tawny again. So let's go with the tawny color. Boom, boom, yeah, that looks right. Good Lord. Coffee, please, okay. Actually, I don't do well with coffee, it gives me heartburn, okay. So. Back to the tawn. Okay, so now we have the body of our bag. Now what we need to work on is the strap, which should be fairly easy. And also the interior details as well, like all these little spots are going to have to be pink. Uh, no, actually tan again. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to go 400%. We're really close up now, and we're going to be able to very easily pick all these little doodads out of here. And then we're going to work on the tassel. The tassel is the last thing we're going to do before we do any kind of, um, ah, very nice, any kind of shadowing. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do the strap first. Let me go over here. Uh, down again. Okay, so the strap has two tan edges. I just gave myself lines to make things easier. Um, two tan edges. Very good. We might actually add a texture to the whole thing just as a, for the heck of it, but let's first do this. Okay, so we're gonna go, grab our tan edges here. One, two. And if we did a good job with our lines, which hopefully we did, go pretty quickly. All right, uh, yeah, we did. Okay, so there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back down. Oh, actually, wait, wait, I missed one spot here. Okay, so next, I drop a tool. Okay, so then it has a pink, a tawny, a dark tawn. And okay, so let's go ahead and we'll do the pink now. Grabbing our pink line. Let's see how well we did the, how shaky our hand was or not. <laughs> okay, we're doing good, I hope. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the pink. We all right. Next one is the darker brown. What's the medium? We should say just call it medium brown, whatever. Okay, where is that medium brown? 
There it is. Let's see how it looks. Okay. It's working. Next. Okay. Medium brown. Next. East. Medium brown. Okay. Let me see what the next one will probably be the turquoise, I guess. Yeah, turquoise. Okay. So next go here. We're going to grab this puppy over here. Turquoise. This puppy over here. Turquoise. And this one over here. Turquoise. And guess what we're going to put this one? Turquoise also. Okay. So the next one is the darker shade of brown, which is like this kind of fun eagle pattern, which is nice. Okay, good. Getting there. Brown. There we go. Oh, nope. Wrong one. Okay. And here, we're also going to do that one, I think. And voila. So we have a shoulder strap that is striped. Now, the tassel. The tassel, actually, I should have taken a picture of the tassel. Um, it has, like, multicolored threads. And I kind of tried to reflect that. Of course, if I had been smart, I would have actually taken a picture of it, but I didn't. All right, doesn't matter. Um, what we can do is we're going to go back here, and I'm seeing, so it has like pink and blue and tan, so let's just do that. I'm going to guess like randomly pick out for this part, which is like a ropey kind of a thing. Pick out some strands to be pink here and there. There, fine. The pink seems to be predominant in it. It is a pretty color. Okay, so fine. Let's see. All right, let's go pick out that. Hopefully, I didn't grab anything that's going to turn wacky pink. Okay, that's good. So let's go back. There. All right. Okay, so here we're going to also do that as well. We're going to put in some pink in here, like a few strands of pink. And they'll start to do the turquoise, too. All right. You want them to be random, not, like, evenly spaced. Okay, let's do pink. Remember that being a lot of pink. And then some skinnier ones, too. Do the pink. Pink. And pink. All right. Oh, sure, we'll do two pinks together. Fine. And a skinny one, too. All right, so now there was a lot of tan. The next one up was tan. There was a lot of tan. So let's do the tan. Okay, so let's go around and do some tan over here. No, we did that one already, the pink. So this is kind of fun. You're just like playing around with the color. You can do whatever you want. You put add. No, I don't want to do that one. I want to do this one. Add and change and all right, we're good. Okay, so next is let's do some turquoise. Sure, let's do some turquoise. Uh, whatever you think looks good. And then we're going to add the darker tawny color because it should be there. All right, all right. So now we're getting a very colorful bag and. Once we're done with the coloring, you can pretty much call it quit and say, that's all I want to do. I, I think it's good like this. I don't think I need anything else. And there are, that's a style. It's like a kind of a rough style. It's nice. Some people like it. Some people don't. Some people feel it looks unfinished. I personally like adding shadows. And uh, weave details if you can. But you don't want to drive yourself too crazy because, you know, you don't want to. All right, let's see. So next we're going to do the darker tawny color, which I think the wraps were. So we'll find that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's... <laughs> okay, let me zoom in a little bit because I'm getting going crazy here. Okay, so let's see here. Okay. We're doing pretty well. Okay. So the tassel area here is almost finished. Let's just finish the tassel. I'm going to do that. I'm going to also add the darker color, but very little. So let's get this tassel done. Okay. Now I'm just going to add these two stripes in dark. 
just for a contrast so it shows that it's in there. Okay, very good. Okay, now let's see how it looks. It's pretty nice. We can add shadows to the back part of the, um, I mean, behind the tassels and under the area of the shoulder strap where they would, one would imagine they would be. Okay, so we're getting there. Okay, now we have these two little holes here. I'm going to put a dark color into Why not? Okay. So we have these two little holes here where they're going to be in shadow. So I'm just going to grab them. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to put, grab them, holding down my shift. And I'm just going to be lazy and do a dark gray to, you know, show the shadows. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Now let's go back and see what we got. Now we're like, get our nose out of this. Ta-da! So we have a very cute little bag. It looks kind of two-dimensional, but it's kind of cute, actually. If you like like this, you can say, I'm done, and you are being, you would be done. But I'm going to add some shadows to it, mostly under the, um, well, probably the top collar here, and also under this part of the shoulder strap where it would be cast in shadows probably a little bit under and around the tassel, and then we'll be done. Now, if you really wanted to, you could try something. Let's try something a little wacky. Let me just do, if I can do that. See, if I, I'm trying to copy the background, which is one piece of color, and say copy, paste, and see what happens. Oh, it just was one thing. Now, let me see if I can just, let me zoom in. What I'm trying to do, isn't it? There. Let me see if I can just do this and see what happens. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Ugh. One more try. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I just grabbed the outer edge of the entire shape, and I'm just going to make it a shape on its own. Let me see if this works. No, it didn't. Okay, sometimes what you can do is you can grab the whole shape from behind and then add some texture to it, if you want to. Uh, or just copy the whole thing like this and say copy, paste. And then let's see, we're going to go to our... This is all experimental. You don't have to do this. Uh, I'm going to go to patterns, and I'm going to say uh, gra oops, patterns, decorative, no, uh, lines and textures. Let's try textures and see what we come up with. Okay, so I'm just going to say uh, burlap. Maybe that'll work. No, that looks kind of like not what I was hoping for. Um, I want something that looks more like a weave, like a little more like that. Uh, actually, that might add something to it. Dash lines, diagonal lines. No, what's this? Diamonds? No. Hatching? No. Bird's feet? Okay. Circle lines? Oh, I see. Oh, mushy. Mezzanute. No, that looks less cool for like a leather. Okay, so I have a lot of fun. Oh, let's see this. Hmm. Sewage disposal. What? Okay, um, sometimes you gotta take ripples. You gotta take this with a grain of salt. Uh, okay. Um, too even. <laughs> That's kind of cute, but not what we're looking for. Dots. Um. All right. The best thing we can do, believe it or not, is sewage lines, mm -hmm. which is kind of funny. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to say transform patterns only. So I'm taking off the transform objects and I'm clicking off on that. And I'm going to give it like a little bit of a angle to give it some texture. Okay, that's a little too much. Let's do it again. Uh, and I just want to give it an idea of 
Let's do 18 and see what that looks. Okay, that's a little bit more closer to what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to take the opacity on it and lower it. It's just to give a hint of an idea of, let's see. Okay, there. Very good. So now I did that. It has like a slight look of a texture. So let's zoom out. I'm going to grab the whole thing again. I'm going to pull it up. And then we're going to have to remove it from the... Um... <laughs> there. So now we have a little bit of a texture, which is fine. Now here I'm going to grab this part here. And I'm just going to get rid of it. Oh. It's not working. Why is that not working? All right. Hmm. That's very strange. Okay. Ha! Huh. Who knew? All right, I got a better idea. I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to color it white. <laughs> see. Ah, there you go. Okay. Okay, so now we have our texture. Like we want a little bit of idea of texture. And now we're going to work on our shadows. Oh, ding dong. Okay, so let's see. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here. And this is a little bit of a pain in the neck. Oh, wrong spot. What I want to do is, I, okay, this actually did not, whatever, this part here is a little bit, move it down a little bit. All right, whatever it is. So this part here is going to have shadows. So we can do it either like draw them in or make a whole shape, which is possible. Okay. All right, so let's decide. I think, uh, hmm, I think probably we'll draw them in, make a shape. Shouldn't be that hard. So let's grab here. Let's do this and we're going to make our shape. Okay, it's remembering what we did before, which is fine and dandy. So we quickly make a little shape here. And we're going to color that in with a dark gray. Okay. 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 This type of thing is a little tedious but it definitely helps in making your bag look more fun okay that didn't work okay okay I'm just doing I'm tracing a little bit of it very quickly very roughly Okay, it's getting a little confusing because it's got that like cross hatching from before, but that's okay. Just try to cover all your spots that will show up. If not, you can just go straight. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put a darker gray and then we're going to go down on opacity for the sake of brevity. Okay, now we're almost ready with the top collar with our shading. You may wonder, well, why are we doing this? It does really add. A little bit more to your I'm going to go down a lot I'm gonna go down like 15% to 15% like 28 Maybe a little bit more okay there uh, actually let's turn it to a black and see what happens okay that looks fine okay just so I missed the spot here let's move this puppy over here I said you okay all right, so it's like, what is that? I can't tell. The best thing to do is, uh, or if you really want to, you can zoom out and see what you'll think of it. If you don't like it, you can just go back, grab it, and let's try something else. Let's do, let me see if I have any fades in here. Ah, okay, let's do a fade from side to side. All right, and then we're going to go up on the opacity too. Like, see, it kind of like does a little bit more. 
Uh, okay, so let's let's leave that there. Okay, so now we have a little bit of a shadow there. Now we're going to do shadows up here and over here on the under part of the strap, which hopefully should go a little faster because it doesn't have scallops on it. And that's also going to give it a little bit more of a three-dimensional look. So we're doing our strap. Okay, it's already starting to give me shadows, which is fine. All right, there. Let's go this way. Bang, 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 bang. bang, 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 bang. Okay, here we go. I don't know if we're going to use this shadow particularly for this because it doesn't really look like it's working with it, but we might actually flip it over. That might be something to do. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so we have our shadow. It's at 100% opacity. Let's try to do it as a... Uh, nah, that looks weird. Um, let's try to go back here. All right, so we're doing it this way, but we're going to give it a... Let's try it at like a 60 degree angle and see what that does. Okay, that might work. If not, we can just always go back to the grayscale thing. I. I think it's okay, but I want to change it a little bit darker around here. I'm going to move the gradient up a little bit. Ooh, that's too bad. That's too much. Um, let me see. Let me go back. I think maybe this one might be better as a, just a plane. So let me go back to the opacity on this one and just go up to 60%. I don't know. It doesn't look really great with the, uh, the, the darker colors. I mean, the... Uh, brighter colors but it's something um let me try get off i think i liked it before let me go back okay get out of there let's grab it again let's go back to our fade okay at 51 percent, that's not bad let's go to what is it 60 okay i think that's not bad and I think I'm going to go a little bit higher with it. Okay, that works. I think that's okay. So let's do the next one. It adds a little something. As you can see, it's a little bit darker and a little bit darker in there. So it's subtle. Let's do the same thing we did there. Oh, maybe you can zoom in a little bit. 100% is not the greatest for what we're doing. Okay, so let's go again. So let's do the same exact thing. We're just going to copy our shadow here. I'm going to use the same opacity, the same everything. Everything we're going to use the same. That's all. I'm just going to copy it. See, now it's the opacity is a little bit much, but that's okay because we can fix it. I'm going to change it. And again, I'm just doing a real quick shape here. doesn't have to be exact because it's the opacity is down on it. Okay, so let me go down on this. Okay. There. Okay. We went down a little bit. Okay, let's go down back down to 200% and see how that worked out. Okay, I think I like it. I think it's fine. All right, so now we have our shading here. Now what we need to do is add a little bit over here on the tush of the bag. And then we're going to do some lines under here and around the um, tassels to make them pop out. Yes, pop, pop, pop. That is a word sometimes, I don't know if they still do, but at FIT I used to hear it all the time. You want those colors to pop. Okay, here we go. You want to make the details important. I don't know what that means actually, but you want to make sure that your details are important. Okay, whatever your details may be. Okay, so because this looks like a nice shadow, but because it's a rounded bag, we want to make the shadows also round off a little bit towards the back of the bag. So let's see. Let me go down here. Okay. Okay, so that's actually not bad. However, I'm thinking that I also want to do, uh, let me see, a 60? It's 24. 45. There, that's a little bit better. Okay, yeah, we, I just changed the angle to 45 degrees, which makes sense. Okay, so now we're going to take our pen tool and we're going to make a shape that goes around 
each side and under the um, tassels to do a little shadow. And then we're going to just make a fat line. So I'm just going to go here, curve it out a little bit. There we go. Here you want to try to f be a little bit more exacting because this shadow is going to show. Now, if there's a curve there, you want to make sure that you have a curve. Okay, and you don't want to go past the bottom of the bag. So, What's happened here is that it made a fill, which is not what I want. I'm going to make a line, and I'll make it really fat. Ooh, look at that fat line. And I'm going to curve, because shadows usually aren't that angular, I'm going to curve all the corners. Okay, very good. Now, I can play around a little bit with this. I wanted to grab this and move it in here a little bit. There. Okay, that looks too much. Let me zoom in a little bit so I can see more of what I'm doing. Okay, I'm grabbing this anchor and I'm kind of moving it in a little bit. This one too. There, okay, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to create a line that echoes the, there, the, uh, the tassel. Now what I'm going to do is it's black, so I can actually use this just as a black, but then take the opacity down on my line. Oh, that's a little too much. Let's do a little bit. Let's make it darker. Okay. So now I'm just on top of it. It doesn't look like much, but when we zoom out, hopefully it'll look like something. Okay. So now you see we have a shadow that goes around. Now let's take that line off. Ta-da. So we have a shadow here. We need to do the same thing on this side, under here, all around. So let's do it. Okay. Let's go there. I'm going to go under because we're trying to emulate. You would just imagine if you were a shadow, where would you go? Okay. Okay, the twilight zone probably if you were a shadow, you'd want to live there. Okay. So we're almost ready. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to do a little curvy thing. Okay, so you will want to get too fat because mm, that might happen. Let me see what happens now. All right, I'm going to go down on the opacity again. What did I say, 50-something? Uh, too little. Uh, that's good. All right, so let me go out. Oops. Okay. Who is ding-donging me? All right, here we go. Ta-da! We have a beautiful little bag. And it is pretty much this puppy over here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed our class. I hope you like making this YU hand-loomed crossbody shoulder bag. And I hope that you subscribe, and I hope you see you around. If you have any questions, please add them. You can email me with uh, anything you want to try to draw, or you can even send me photos if you want to try to draw something off the Internet. Okay, uh, accessories, that is. <laughs> Okay, so um, hope you have a great week. Bye now.